Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. And welcome to Mud Season. Yes. Boy, oh boy. And it's not just mud either, folks. It is not. It is that liquid dookie that is... Bleh. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. Liquid it's great gold. for your gardens. It's very exfoliating. So, welcome to Country Life News. <laughs> yes. We have got some really crazy, awesome, fun stories. And part of the deal here is the comments section. Mm -hmm. You guys put your two cents in there. If yep. you're watching this as a replay, then you can actually click a little thing in the stuff in the thing in the YouTube gizmo and it'll pop the, uh, the chat open. Yep. So we have a list. We're going to talk about wolves. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about clean dookie free barns and foreign land sales being banned from or our our land being banned yes that's true yes and believe it or not we're actually gonna even talk about uh <laughs> clowns <laughs> yeah a bunch of clowns yep so first of all we're gonna chat about uh wolves why do i keep getting these irritating ads for guitars they never Stop. I have no idea. I don't know. They think you don't have enough, apparently. That that uh, firebird. That's only, that's only a few. That that firebird over there. You know, I do have a birthday coming up, ladies and gents, at the end of the month. And, Which one's uh, the firebird? That, that the blue, the bluey one? one. No, not the one with the horns. Oh, the baby like blue one? It's, it's, uh, it's a firebird. It's the know. middle on the right? Is that what that is? Birthday coming up. Just, I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> is okay. that an X? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, <laughs> title, I hope title. so. Hopefully. Look at this. Hey, boom, so, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this is, this is interesting. Gray wolves haven't been seen in South Michigan since the 1900s. Okay, that's over 100 years ago. This winter, this winter, not winter, this winter, a local hunter shot one. <sighs> Did he get in trouble? Well, ha. so an animal in Michigan, uh, sorry, an animal a Michigan hunter thought was a big coyote when he shot it in January has been determined to be a gray wolf. The first time the species has been found in southern Michigan in more than a century. The hunter shot the wolf in Calhoun County in the southern reaches of Michigan's lower peninsula, making uh, sorry while taking part in a legal coyote hunting accompanied by a guide. That was the, D, this, the this was a response from the DNR. Mm -hmm. The man said he encountered what he initially believed to be a large coyote, but it weighed 84, <clears throat> excuse me, pounds, which significantly more than the 25 pounds to 40 pounds that Eastern coyotes typically weigh. Well, how are you gonna know? I mean, if it's if Especially far at away, a distance. Yeah, at a distance, yeah. But a series of genetic tests had on the harvested animal uh, confirmed that it was a gray wolf, a species not sighted in the in that part of Michigan since the like since the likely ex, extirpation extirpation. That's a new word for me. I, I got to be honest. Extirpation. I'm guessing it's, it's a lot they, like when Twitter they removed. Pated. It's a lot like Twitter sure, pated, but sure. just you know with bullets and stuff. Right. Uh, of, of the wolves from the state in the near in the early part of the 20th century, so nearly a hundred years ago, gray wolves currently confined almost exclusively to the. Oops, sorry. That's okay. To the Upper Peninsula, said the DNR. A few instances of wolves being pre present in the Lower Peninsula uh, in the past two decades have been have been in the Lower Peninsula's northern areas. The agency added. Okay, so. Let's chat, shall we? Let's chat. Let's chat. Let's chat. Um, <laughs> around here, which around here is central Wisconsin, mm -hmm. the base of the North Woods. Mm -hmm. So we're in the North Woods, but right at the bottom of yep. it. Um, people talk about all kinds of things that are not supposed to be here, mm -hmm. that they see out in the woods. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a friend who is affectionately known as the Don. Yep. He hunts bear mm -hmm. legally. Mm -hmm. He gets permits and does it all yep. legally. But there's a big, big group of people around here that they 
they hunt bear, they share tags, they do all the stuff. Yep. They say they see all kinds of things that are not supposed to be here. Uh, and the question I have is the question that they have is, how much does the Department of Natural Resources, the DNR, how much do they manipulate and don't tell the public? Well, there's thousands of them crawling around on our ceiling. The DNR? <laughs> the Asian beetles that oh, they brought in. Say, you know. Yeah, no, they're... <laughs> <laughs> they're crowded up there. <laughs> How you doing, James? Okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's always very helpful. Brings me coffee. <laughs> the Asian beetles are one species that was reintroduced. No, not reintroduced. Introduced yeah. into this area, believing that it was going to take care of aphid problem. The problem is, is Asian beetles that look like ladybugs do not eat aphids. No. They, it was a bad mistake. It was a humongous mistake that now plagues the entire state of, well, not the entire state, the entire area of the Northwoods. Specifically my house. As specifically our house, yes. And they never go away. Even, no. I don't care what they tell you. She's no. right. They're, they're, they're awful creatures. They, they smell bite great. And they stink. And they are disgusting. They're everywhere. So, hence why we have lids on our water bottles that close. Because I have probably consumed more than 10 yes, Asian beetles. Yeah, I found one in the flower this morning. Yeah. She was making bread. Yeah, I found one in the flower. So when you hear of, hey, these really super smart people who are manipulating the environment will take things out of, say, Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, whoopsie, we killed off uh. a bunch of other things because we made a mistake with that. Then they reintroduce them, and then everything gets out of whack for a long time. And I'm just kind of wondering, why don't you just leave it alone? I'm thinking God put those creatures there for a specific reason. Just don't muck with it. That's all. What do you just think, leave it alone. people? How many of you have seen crazy, crazy animals that, air quotes, should not be here? We have actually seen wolf scat when we were ATVing mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have wolves here, not in our property. Well, yeah, that not, come into our property. Yes, um, we have never um, we've seen the scat. We've never actually seen the wolves, um, but we have coyote. We have bear, which is a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Deer. Um, I want to say that somebody saw an elk not too long ago. Yeah, this far south, which is yeah, crazy. Which is crazy. This far south, not not, not normal. I have yet to see a Bigfoot, but I'm I'm still hopeful. I'm looking. I keep watching. Our back our back mm -hmm. door out of the bedroom. Perfect at, Yeti it, vision. Perfect, perfect Yeti vision. Yes, exactly. Maybe a nice chupacabra. Yes, looking for one of those too. They don't have enough hair though. No. Have you if you've seen them, the Montauk monster? <laughs> have you seen that guy? No. He's like a, a very hairless dog that has like this gnarly toothy mouth that kind of looks like a bird head almost what about the mothman yeah them that, that one too that one, that one was in ohio wasn't it it's all just that's it's all, all it's all yeah. urban legend bunch of hooey anyway it no different than our our beloved hodag yes we do have the hodag here yeah and that was a fun story that parents long ago told children not they created to go it. They created it. The mm -hmm. parents created this story about the hodag that looks. And you guys should you should look it up because it's a quite an interesting looking animal. Um, they created it to keep kids from wandering in the woods. Yeah, they told they, they told, told kids if you go out story. there, the hodag is going to get you. Yeah, yeah, it's well, quite a scary looking creature. And truthfully, they were probably. I don't know if I would lie to the kids, but I would say, hey, guess what? There's stuff out there that will eat you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like bear. And, and coyotes. Wolves. And wolves. Yeah, <laughs> Especially, exactly. Especially, you know, 100 years ago. Real threats. <laughs> but when you see them all the time for a kid, it's probably not as scary as if you say, hey, you know what? There's a hodag out there. Well, I mean, wolves kind of look, they not kind of, they look a lot like dogs. And bear, they just are so cute and cuddly, so the kids want to go and snuggle with them, right? 
Well, mm. think about all of the grim fairy tales. Yes. Those are stories that were really dark. Let me just say yeah. the Disney company's story versions of them, not as scary as the actual ones. We we got a book on tape kind of thing, book yeah. on CD, CD. Mm-hmm. and we had been listening to some of them. It's like, whoa. This is disturbing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And a lot of the stories, the the husband of the crazy wife who would do all the horrible things to the kids, he'd just be like, well, what can you do? <laughs> They're my kids, I know, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what can you just, do? Just feed them to the wolves. That's, That's fine. fine. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Tell her no? That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, tell her no. So what do you think? Should the DNR be involved as heavily? Now, I get, I do get that sometimes they're uh, they help correcting, the environment. correcting a problem that correcting maybe them. man has made right. by right. invading right. areas. Right. I get that. I do. I just think that maybe they should kind of let things flesh out. I mean, protect species. Mm-hmm. But like yeah. to introduce things and pull things out, oof. Just don't muck with it. Just leave it alone. You know, I I understand that you're having you you have a certain amount of tags for for bear and you have a certain amount of tags for deer. That's to make sure that the population is not um, decimated. Over-harvested. Yeah, over harvested. Um, I think for this year, um, no does are allowed to be harvested this this coming year a deer yes so a deer yes a female a, it's a female deer yes huh yeah, yeah ray yeah. a guy that hunts the doe exactly okay. and, and ray's not allowed to hunt the doe this year because me yeah because the popular yeah because <laughs> because <laughs> i call myself that's what i do <sighs> far it's a long way to go something like that because there's not enough uh, deer in the population, so they're all they're all microchipped in right, way. right. So there's only going to be a certain amount of buck deers, d- no buck tags allowed. Trying to convey some information to folks who live in Wisconsin, and I shut up. I was listening. I was, you had me at doe. Now, when people tell you, follow the money, you've heard that phrase? Oh, my gosh. We've said that phrase many, many, many times. Many, many, many times. Unfortunately, this next story has a lot to do with money and less to do with actually treating humans with dignity. Um, Yes, yes. So, I don't like it. But we should really talk about it, and we really are excited to see what you have to, to put down. The horses are going crazy. There's horses over there rolling. Sailor's rolling, and Whiskey's like, hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? That looks like fun. I want to. I want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to. Anyway, let's it's, get back to the... She went to bite him. <laughs> Here's the story. <laughs> All right, baby. Would you please read this headline while you're censoring? Because yeah. people can read, but guess mm-hmm. what? I, I don't really... Oh, hey. How you doing there? Yeah. No, it's... it's Clint Eastwood. Clint, I'm going to try to get yeah. rid of these things just so that's not a distraction. Go yeah. ahead and censor your uh, speech yep. just a little bit so that people it. know. I got gotcha. you. Judge reduces a uh, square down verdict against Bayer. Oops. Not that one. Um, from... <laughs> 1.5 billion to 550 million. Now, what this is, go ahead and, and please. A judge, oh, he's back. Okay, just leave it. Just leave it. A judge in Missouri it has significantly reduced a jury award against the um, big ag place, cutting down the punitive damages from 1.5 billion verdict. To five hundred and fifty million. For people that have gotten really, 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 really bad. Yes, diseases. they have gotten very, very ill, very sick from um, things. This um, usage. Yeah, this particular item. You know, it's led to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, yeah. You know. And it's proven, so it's mm-hmm. not it's not theory. Right. 
Right. And now it's all just in the legal battle mm-hmm. of how much they're going to pay for a human life. Now, I wanted to show you this. This is the thing that I wanted you to read there, Ma, okay. with censorship, if you don't <clears throat> sure. mind. Not the whole thing. I will do my thing. darndest. Just that first um, sentence. Uh, they, this particular place record, reported that they have already allocated up to $16 billion to settle over 100,000 similar cases. And it's now facing a new wave of litigation. That's all I wanted you to read for okay. this portion. Okay. The reason why is, um, here, this word is an important word. I'm big on reading what is actually there. Mm-hmm. And um, why why would you have to allocate something that big if unless you expected mm-hmm. That something bad is going to happen. Right, right. If you knew that something was going to be, what something bad was going to happen, of course you're going to have to allocate for that, you know, thing. I vaguely remember some guy being on TV and saying, hey, this particular thing is so super safe. It's super duper safe. And then the guy said, well, if it's so safe, this, this is just a TV thingy on YouTube. But. He said, you know what, if this is so safe, why don't you go ahead and just uh, prove it? I got some for you here. Chug a lug, baby. What's he saying? No, I'm not not stupid. stupid. But wait. It's not dangerous to humans. No, it's not. Are you so you're ready to drink a glass of it? No, I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Not thirsty. (laughs) Then the interview's finished. I'm out of here. So the the big thing right here, folks, is that right there. Vunk. Allocated. Because if they didn't think that it was going to be a bad problem, mm-hmm. why would they allocate things? Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm, I'm. Yeah, not. I may not be a smart man, right. but I know what allocate means. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, they they clearly knew that this was going to be a problem, so they set aside sixteen billion dollars. Won't pay that because the judge has decided to uh, knock that payment that you know the the case down to only five hundred and fifty million. Um, you know to settle these cases. Um, now, how many people are involved in this particular case? I would be curious. This one, as to this about particular that. one, is three. Only three people. Three, but they they've seen the writing on the wall mm-hmm. legally, and they know they're going to lose because they sure. there's plenty of proof that they knew it was harmful. I see. Did it anyway, and so they're basically trying to decide on how the legal system is going to define what a human life is worth. That just that's disturbing. I know I'm getting like irritated. I, like I'm, my, my blood is starting to boil because that's all. No one can put a price on a human life. Well, apparently this judge can, and no, that's no, he can't. Actually, he or she he did, but he's not. Here's the thing: I would like to know. Hey, internet, you people out there? Yes, I said you people, you internet people, because we are internet people, and it has nothing to do with being degrading. Mm-mm, no, you internet people. I would wonder. Who is this judge? Hmm. You see, you always got to do, what's that thing called? Follow the monkey. Oh, I thought it was monkey. No, it's follow the money. I think it'd be funner to follow the monkey. But anyway, follow the money. Oh, you know what? I'm guessing. I wonder who appointed this person. Mm. I wonder if this person has any kind of political ties. I just wonder. I mean, I'm I'm not a journalist. And this is not journalism, no. because if it was journalism, then I would be doing that research to find out if that judge had any way of benefiting a company financially yeah. for them not to have to pay out bu- 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 billions, billions of dollars. I wonder, what do you think? Ladies and gents, comments. Before I let Chris's head explode here on uh, recorded TV, yeah, go. Right. Be careful. Don't name names, but no, what are your just, thoughts, you Beta know, Cakes? If they knew that this was going to be such a damage, why are we putting it on the ground and in our food? Why not we? Why are they? Because you know why? 
Follow the money. Follow that money. If they have allocated sixteen billion dollars, how much more have they made? Meaning they know. Meaning they know that it's bad. I and bet, they're just I, bracing for impact. I bet they all of the people that work there eat organic. If you know, then you're not going to drink it. No, like, no, I'm like, not an dude, idiot. I'm, I'm not, not an stupid. idiot. I'm not thirsty. Right, dude, you're not going to drink it because you know. Right after how he says it that it's completely safe to drink, he literally did. I, yeah, I, I watched that interview back then. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, questions for today: Why then? Would so much legislation edging out the small farmer, mm -hmm. the home gardener, mm -hmm. rainwater, all of these things that funnel right down into one thing, what you eat and what you drink, yep. and people who are much bigger, bigger, bigger than you saying what you can and can't do. I wonder, mm, I wonder. if I were a... a, a a uh, journalist. I'd be looking into that judge. What kind of ties there are there? Well, the name of the judge is in the article. W what is that name that's written in that article? Well, the, the the judge's name is Daniel Green. Yeah. Yeah. He did decline their the company's request for a new trial, or to de to or to dismiss the verdict entirely. He just thought. Mm -hmm. He he thought he would be able to d define how much that human life oh, is worth. Yeah, no, That's good. He said the reduction in damages mm -hmm. provides some financial relief to that particular company. Oh. Oh, sure. Why do they get relief? Why do they get relief, but the families who are suffering don't? And here's the point that I want to make. They knew it going in. It's not like whoopsie, I made a machine and it hurt people, so we're going to stop because, whoa. Right, right. This, this is legal bad. nonsense says they knew it. Yeah. And they kept selling it anyway. Yeah. Not yeah. my opinion, their opinion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gents, what do you think? Comments down below. I don't know if you can see behind us. We decided to change our, our view. Yeah. Because the horses were having fun horsey <laughs> stuff. Hi, Whiskey. What's up, bud? He's like, hey, guys, what you doing? Hey, that looks like fun. I want to help. <laughs> so mud season is upon us. Oh, my. It's so gross. Yeah. Oh, the sticky, sticky cockadookie. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Yep. So... Spring has sprung, which in uh, Wisconsin means mud season. This is actually already a lot better than it was. Krista was out here smooshing and pushing and doing, and uh, these guys, those happy children, have been raking and scooping and filling up that bucket and getting this pen, whiskey's pen, which was originally whiskey's pen, which has become kind of a utility pen in shape. These two guys are not happy at all. Let me tell you why. No, you know what? This is video. Why would we tell when we can show? I'll show you why these ladies, even though they're delightful ladies, are just not happy. So this is why. Hello, Wellington. He is doing so great. Where's Red? Red's over in the corner. Oh, okay. There's Red. Oh, I see. Hi, Red. We uh, we are going to need to. Um, well, let's just say their time as boys, official boys, is coming to an end. To an end. They will be um, soon called steers. Steers, <laughs> yes. So we will be. Um, banding them so that uh, they will not be bulls anymore because we do not need breeding bulls 
We just are going Nor to grow them. we want bulls. No, we do not want bulls. Uh, we we are growing them to uh, put in the freezer eventually. So. Or share or trade. Or, or sell or whatever. Basically, they are going to help humans. Yes. So, um, yeah. And the thing is, we really do love these. These little guys are so cute. Um, Red over there has been more personable of the two until just right now. Yeah. Wellington, yeah, he's been he's been a good boy. Um, but we got this is just gonna be a temporary setup. Like we just obviously scraped that out. Yep. Um, yep. This is a temporary setup. Um once uh they are fully weaned, then we will move them over to the sheep so that their moms don't flip out and then won't give us the milk to share with the calves. And what the, the plan calves. is over here is well it's got to do with this guy right here where is he buddy. where are you turbo are you buddy? buddy is he in here oh there he is Hi, it's all wet and gross it's been and, raining yeah, it's been, oh, it's been buddy really nice is our ram and we need to separate the rams uh from the user uh. and so we are going to take a, a portion of this area here and actually push that fence back yep. So that the Rams, uh, yeah, have their own space away, away from the from ewes, a... <laughs> so that we can um, manage their breeding better. Um, because they've been together, uh, we had Oreo, our one ewe. She had a lamb. She had her lambs in the middle of January, which generally in January is usually negative twenty and negative thirty degrees. So I'm very grateful that we had a very mild winter this year. Um, otherwise those lambs would have died. Yeah, well, if you don't catch them right away, that's Exactly, for sure. exactly. So the goal is to put the little cows out here and since they will be steers, yep. it won't be an issue. And then when they get bigger and they're completely, completely weaned, they'll go out to the big pasture out there with everybody else. Yep. That's yep. at least the plan for now. That is the plan for now. So. Last time it didn't work out so good. No. No, because Honey, who is an awesome cow and awesome mama, uh, decided to let them nurse anyway. As adults. As as two-year-old adults, yeah. And I'm not sure that that's a good thing. Like, in, in the human world, that would be pretty weird. I don't know. Be like, yeah, 18 no years old. Hey, mom. Mom. No, no, no. Mom. No, 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 no. 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 This next uh, story, article, thingamajigger we're going to read, I don't really want to give too much of an intro other than you really need to comment on this because this is the kind of thing where you could actually be part of a change that yes. people of influence see mm -hmm. and then make. Yes. But you need to let your voices be heard. Yeah. Stand up and say no. Here we go. Touchy, touchy subject for a lot of people because... The world is shrinking and businesses are getting all interwoven with different countries and different laws mm -hmm. and different places and even countries that have nefarious intentions for other countries. They still do business yeah. inside those countries and land sales are starting to be blocked at, the uh, at state levels so that countries that are not exactly the friendliest to us cannot be purchasing land. Now, I am curious as to your thoughts, whether you think, and I'm gonna shut up here in a second and let Chris talk um, about the article, but should it be that it just never happens at all? Foreigners don't get to buy American soil? Should it be, well, if you're an individual, you could own a, like an apartment here or something, or even, even land, as long as it's your land. Should corporations, be allowed to own it? Should um, countries be allowed to own land with shell corporations as the actual face of it? So now, go ahead. All right, so United States are cutting off Chinese citizens and companies from land ownership. Uh, skepticism about federal pr uh, protections spurs surge in laws uh, aim to fair firewall states from perceived malign uh, perceived malign uh, Chinese influence through land purchases. Honestly, 
I don't think they should be owning land in the United States. Uh, but state lawmakers are producing a wave of legislation aimed at stopping what they say is a clear and growing danger in national security, land purchases by Chinese citizens and companies. More than two thirds of states primarily, primarily controlled by Republicans have enacted or are considering yeah, they laws. Had to add, they had to add that little thing in there. Oh, of course they but, did. Sorry. Of course they did. Have enacted or are considering laws limiting or barring foreign land ownership of land. While the laws typically restrict land purchases by multiple countries with hostile U.S. relations, mm -hmm. there is little doubt that China is the main target of these efforts and that the politics are propelling the movement. Restrictions are being enacted across the country in Texas, Florida, and elsewhere, uh, almost exclusively pushed, <laughs> of course, Mm -hmm. They have to add that to a push by Republicans, uh, yeah. even though there is there's little evidence of a credible threat concerning uh -huh. uh, con sorry, considering Chinese interests currently own a minuscule amount of territory. What I didn't I don't think you saw is who this article is from. No, I didn't see up there at the top. Yeah, I don't I don't look at that website. So I have no that idea. tells you a lot. That's yeah. they are an extreme left leaning. I see publication so they're going to take every jab they can sure. so here's the question ladies and gents please put your comments down below what do you think do you think foreign businesses shell companies for foreign countries should be able to buy up land absolutely not if you're not a united states citizen you don't get to own land I mean, we couldn't go and buy, per buy uh, purchase land in China. Nope. Of course, are people allowed to buy land in China? That I honestly, I, I, I said nope, and I now that I'm thinking about it, I, I'm going to claim ignorance. I really don't know. Yeah, I don't know if the people of China are allowed to own land. I don't um, know if foreigners are allowed to own land in China. Yeah. I think that it's like long-term leases. They're allowed to do leases because, right. well, Tesla has a, a factory there. There's a company that, that I buy musical instruments from called Behring, Behringer. They're German, and they own a massive, massive musical instrument production facility yeah. there. It's how you can actually afford to buy things that are normally thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we all know that there's a big push for globalization and the world is shrinking. Mm -hmm. And is it going to be where everything just kind of gets so blurred together, nobody knows who's what, or is it just going to be the United States is getting purchased up by other countries? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the currently the United States has to capitulate to pretty much everybody else. We have no, we have no sovereign borders. We have no... Um, whatever. But for us to be able to go over to other countries, other countries, nope, you can't come in unless you have passport or whatever kind of visa or whatever. You can just walk in. You here. can just walk in here. Not a problem. Millions of people have come over the borders. No sovereignty, problem. sovereignty is a big thing. Yeah. So, I actually saw an article and a video and a documentary on how other countries will not necessarily take over with force another place, but what they do is they infiltrate. They will go in, they'll buy up land, they'll buy up businesses, they'll buy up, um, well, ownership into communities, and then they flood those communities with people from their own country, and then they just live there, and they make babies, and then they get involved in politics, and then they start changing the rules. Yeah. yeah. And then they start changing the laws to reflect the country where they're really originally from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's happening big time in um, Minnesota. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. There's other places, Dearborn, Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, it's happening all over the country with people from China. Mm -hmm. And okay, well, if that's the way that our system is set up, where they can get in and change the laws. Well, that's fine. I suppose. I mean, that's how our Republic is founded. 
as long as they're not going against the Constitution. That is the big thing. Yeah. And to undermine the sovereignty of the United States, I think, is a huge mistake. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Ugh. So, what do you think? And here's another thought. What happens to businesses and people that may have purchased in these states that are saying no more? What happens to them? Do they just get their money refunded? Who do you refund it to? Like, think about that. Here's a hypothetical. Let's say you're in the state of Bradlandia. And in Bradlandia, <laughs> a bunch of people have bought a bunch of stuff from all over the world. And the people of Bradlandia go, hey, Brad, that was a dumb move. You shouldn't have allowed that to happen. Um, we don't want them to own this place because it's our place and it's not their place. They can be here. They could even rent if they want. They could rent. Yep. They can rent just like at their place, mm -hmm. but not, not own. Nope. And so Brad has to go, all right, people of all over, kind of made a mistake, my bad. Um, so you're going to have to give it back. Well, who do they pay? Right. Is their money transacted? Of course there's money transacted. If they're buying a piece of land... You know? Let's just say person from outside of Bradlandia uh -huh. buys a piece of land with cash from their own thing. Transaction happens. Boom. They own it. Then Bradlandia people go, no, 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 no. So Brad goes, sorry, can't own it. What do, we, what do you do? Do you just buy it back? Is it like um, when they take over somebody's property to buy a road or to build a road and they just go, mm -hmm. sorry, we're taking it. Deal with it. Sorry. Yeah. We're making an easement here. That's what the government does is they make So we're going to give you somewhere. fair market value. No, and they don't give you fair market value. So then what happens <laughs> is they literally take tax dollars from the people of Bradlandia yeah, yeah. and say, here you go. Well, that's what happens. Yeah. That <sighs> eminent domain. Right. Right. Whoa. I don't know, folks. I think we're editing some uh, entering some interesting and rough waters. Man, are we ever. This is what globalism gets you. But again, these are things that you can't control, right? Take a deep breath. Right. Take All a right. deep breath, folks. Back to it. Now, like many of you, boy, oh boy, one of my favorite things to do is actually eat food. What? It is. You like to eat food? I, I've been eating less food, as you can see. Mm -hmm. But I like to eat food almost every day. Almost, almost every day. Almost every day. Yeah. And I found one of the best preparedness foods, not just preparedness foods, but everyday foods is our beloved Thrive Life ingredients. Our th Thrive Life freeze dried food. Sorry, my mouth is not wanting to work today. Oh, well, here comes Nana. Hi, Nana. There's How are you doing? Nana. She's going to come and lay underneath this keyboard over yeah. here. But. Well, yeah. Thrive so, Life, freeze dried food. It's awesome. It is awesome. And there's a big sale coming. There is a humongous sale coming. Uh, just a little bit about freeze dried food or the Thrive Life. Thri thri that it's, it's, it's. Yeah, exactly. Aren't you glad they didn't call it Thrive Life? Oh, my heavens. Thrive Life, freeze dried food. <laughs> Thrive Life, freeze dried food is. It Thrive Wife. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No, Thrive Wife. Shh, you're messing me up my, even more. Freeze dried food. <laughs> Even more than I already am. Uh, the unopened... Hi, Daisy. Unopened... <laughs> Aren't we just is, popular? This is real life, folks. Here's our dogs. Uh, freeze-dried food. Thrive Life freeze-dried food will last in... <laughs> uh, the number 10 cans or the pantry cans unopened for 25 years. Uh, once they're open, they last about a year, but they are. There is a huge sale. They usually have them. Not usually. They have their humongous sales in April and November. Well, guess what, folks? It's April. So April 23rd through April 29th is the big humongo sale. 
Um, if you are a consultant, that sale starts for you on April 22nd. And those sales do not start until 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So don't place your order before then. Otherwise, you will not get those the screaming deals. deals. Um, they have so many delicious ingredients um, and snacks that you can eat and meals. Those meals are so good. Um, uh that uh, you, a lot of times, sorry, I was glitching because I am i haven't eaten breakfast yet and looking showing, at the food. Yeah, <laughs> looking at the food, I'm like, man, I really would like some apple slices, some blueberries, some blueberries and some mango pieces and some peaches. Ooh, so yummy. And the dog. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so, this is not high tech. The dog is back there moaning. She's rolling around. She's rubbing her ear on so the ground. On the, on let's the just ground. refocus. There's a really big refocus. sale coming. Really? huge it's sale. gonna be huge it's a, gonna be it's a really big sale they have items kids up vacuuming. to this is hilarious <laughs> can you hear it you hear daisy that's not my stomach big sale big sale we forgot to shut the door honey is what we did we did not shut the door um big sale april <laughs> 22nd uh, 9 a.m. Mountain Time for the consultants that are here if you want to get in on being a consultant I am not no just, just a little bit keep going keep going April 23rd through April 29th for those of you cover her up <laughs> big sale that want to uh, have a monthly delivery and it's free. And it's free to sign up for a monthly delivery. And uh, if you spend over $100, you get free shipping. Yeah, you do. So. Uh, just, it's going to be awesome. Chaos. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little tidbit of yeah. uh, chaos. So. Let's get back to the. Yeah. Let's get to the real things here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a clown, you are safe. You do not have to be conscripted. There will be no draft for you in that country over there that we shall not name because nah, you just want your... It's better not to name names because you know what? If you do, then the the, uh, the computer thing... No, no, no. This is a real article. Uh, this is, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're, if you're this... Or wait, this guy here. Uh, if you're that then you don't get drafted over there. So, um, because why? Would you please read this part right here? This is beautiful. Ah, uh, yes. The traveling circus of over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and five other troops have been designated as... Critically. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. This is important. Critically important enterprises for the functioning of the economy and ensuring the livelihoods of the population during a special period. You know what? This is actually, and I, I understand this. I understand this because this is basically job protection. This is job security for politicians because they don't have to go into it because generally Because they're they all are, clowns. Huh, yeah, huh, 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 right. Huh. What in the world? Do you agree, ladies and gentlemen, in the chat, please put your thoughts, because I'm guessing there's got to be a gazillion great jokes right now, because this is actually not a, this article, I wish not this a joke. was a joke, but it's not. Um, I don't, I don't like any of the stuff that's going mm -hmm. on over there. Don't like it. But mm -hmm. this is just like the creme de la creme of, are you kidding me? Okay, um, is it job security uh, for politicians? Well, okay, so it's saying that um, there were changes that were made Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. to the draft, allowing the Army to conscript 25-year-olds and abolishing several categories from, of exemptions from military service. W what are those other categories, does it say? <clears throat> politicians. <laughs> Duh. You guys have heard that song, oh, wait. War oh, wait. Pigs, right? Hold, War Pigs. Hold on, hold on. I think I found, I, th I think I found the list. The list of strategically important Go enterprises, right. right there, right whose here. employees are thereby exempt from the draft. Oh wait, does not include the defense industry, but does apply to the producers of paint and plaster. They're going to need more of it. Video game publishers. What? And even the comp, even a company that breeds camels what 
Yeah, I, I are want. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's just let's 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 back away from this for just wait, a second. Wait, wait, it gets better. It does because they have been equipped. They've been uh, quit. Uh, this particular company quipped that those must be special for combat battle. camels. Combat camels. <laughs> I wonder if they're issued with nothing. Jokes oh, down below. This is my. begging for jokes. This this. I, I, this has got to be a joke. It is not. I, Look where it comes from. No, I know where it's coming from. But. Now, could it be partially propaganda? Oh, oh possibly. 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 Possibly, yes. Possibly. But there's always just that granule of this is actually oh, happening. sure. Now. Please, please, please don't misunderstand. I am not pro any of that no. combat at all. No, not Zero. At all. I don't want any of it to happen for anybody. No. But it is happening. So when you see a story like that, you're you're left scratching your heads like, okay, why, oh, why, oh, why would they be considered an indispensable industry? Because <laughs> they bring hope to the people. And joy. You know, there's a large population of people that are actually frightened to death by clowns. Oh, yes. Jonathan was one of them. I mean, when that he was monkeys. not now. Oh, yeah. When he like was a, when he was little, he was probably two, three years old. We came out of a grocery store in Florida and there was a clown just standing it's there. Just a politician just, just standing know, there. Yeah. And Jonathan just started screaming. Mm-hmm bloody murder and I, I he'd never been around a clown before but then another time <laughs> okay funny story folks uh we were in we were still living in florida and uh his uncle jonathan's uncle uh brother-in-law who is not us, a clown he's who a is good not guy. a clown he's a, no, he's, not, he's a great guy um he dressed up in a gorilla suit for like just a birthday just, fun. Just a, yeah, just for fun. I think it was for uh, birthday, right? nephew's birthday or, yeah. you know, our nephew's birthday. And I could not pry Jonathan off of my arm. He was freaked he out. He freaked he out. He climbed on me. I was like this. You could put yeah. your hands down and walk around. He was like yeah. a backpack. Yeah, yeah. It was but a front pack. Digging in, you know, his, his hands. He was not letting go and just flipping out. He's unscathed now. He doesn't. He doesn't actually even remember any of it. He's blocked it out. He has completely bo- done a mental block on that one. But so, <laughs> ladies and gents, if you if you're concerned about the way things are going in the world, um, I guess the answer is get into Ringling Brothers Barnum and mm-hmm. Bailey Circus. And yes, there is a clown school, and I know this because yes. I came this close to joining the clown school band. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was before I knew you. Yeah. Um, but crazy. down in Florida, there is Ringling, the Ringling right? Brothers Barnum and Bailey School School mm-hmm. for Clowns, mm-hmm. and it's a real deal. And yep. it's not just clowns; they teach all circus manner of things. Mm-hmm. I don't think they can teach you how to be like the bearded woman. I think that has to be natural. Uh, yeah, that's got to be natural. Or the, the yak woman, or whatever. Um, I don't. I think that has you have to come with that. But like other way. Other ways they teach you how to be clowns and they teach you how to walk on high ropes and they it's a, it's a yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. But the but the band, you have to be good. I imagine. To enter that band because they will go from polka music to marches to wow. rock and roll to an and it's a very small group. It's not like a gigantic orchestra mm-hmm. and you have to be like bam bam Spot bam on. bam bam. Yeah. And um I almost joined it, but it just was a little too far away from where we were living because mm-hmm. it's in Sarasota. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So That's clown funny. school, you don't like, okay, th- oh, this is. I, 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 oh, He's I, glitching oh, again. I've got 10 oh, things boy. that want to come out. <laughs> what was that movie with the guy that was in World War II who was so awesome? He was a, uh, a conscientious objector. Yeah. That. He saved so many people's lives by going in, and and it was he was in the um, Pacific Theater. Remember, he was like that Spider Man kid. It wasn't actor. Dunkirk. No, 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 no. That's it was completely not... different. No, that. Oh, jeez. It was so awesome because he was a conscientious objector, and he decided, 
I'm not gonna. I want to support the country mm-hmm. and the effort, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go shooting people. Didn't, didn't just not he, gonna do it. Didn't he? Wasn't he a medic? He saved so many people's lives. I'm sure yeah. somebody's gonna put it oh, in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I I'm drawing a blank on the name of the movie too. But he saved like a ridiculous amount of people's lives. He just went in, grabbed them, got them to safety, and just kept going. Wow. So, for for those of you who are conscientious objectors, consider clown school. Yeah. Because then you don't have to do all that scary stuff. Mm-hmm. You can juggle things. What else could you do? You could walk on high ropes. Big hunky noses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, that... It's an option. Uh, yeah. Just saying it's an option. Sure. So, folks, that's it for today. I hope you all had a good time. I know we did. It was an absolute blast talking about these different weird stories. Bunch of clowns. Bunch of clowns. That is just nuts. Honestly, just nuts. I wonder if you could set up like a clown academy so that you didn't have to. Well, I forget about it. Just, just, <laughs> I'll, I'll stop. My yeah. mind wanders too easily. So you were saying? So, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, if you did, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It truly helps our family out. Share it with your friends, too. Um, that's it for today, folks, with Big Family Homestead. Country Life News, you are? Oh, Brad, I was <laughs> thinking about clowns. <laughs> and I'm Krista. Hope you have a blessed and amazing day. Clowns. <laughs>